It's really my pleasure, following up on that fabulous video, to be unveiling some of the work that we're doing on an online history museum. This afternoon, we'll just have a sneak peek at that museum, and we want to show you the design and the structure and a few of the examples that are under development, but in particular, we want to really invite you to share your stories and send your materials and your ideas so that our museum really does reflect our collective history province-wide. Before I go any further, I do want to acknowledge the following staff members who have been working away, dedicated work on this museum, developing this project, and I know they're going to be doing it for some months to come yet. So I just want to thank and acknowledge Larry Keane in Research and Technology, Joanne Enquist in IT, Nancy Knickerbocker, Campaigns and Communications, Louis Isadora in Graphics, Richard Hoover was in field service, recently retired. Emily O'Neill, Information Services, and David Stange in Records. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's our hope that the museum is going to serve to make the history of the BCTF very accessible and to really bring our long and proud history to life. We really frequently hear um, people talk about the need to share our stories generation to generation of teachers. And so we designed this first with members in mind, but really it's going to be a great resource also for student teachers and for other unions and organizations and for the broader community. The history of the BCTF is so well worth sharing, and we need to do it ourselves. We certainly can't let our story of our union be told by its detractors. So looking at the welcome page, the welcome page that people will land on when they first come to the museum starts with the um, looking back on the founding because that's the inspirational start and the beginning of our long history of advocacy. There's going to be a number of different images scrolling along the top. And I want to show you going from this particular page into the next page, in keeping with the idea of a physical museum, we conceived of the idea of different rooms for our virtual museum. It took some time to land on the names of the rooms, as you can imagine, because there's so many issues entwined in our history. Some rooms will definitely have separate areas inside. For example, our social justice work will showcase our work on women's issues, anti-racism, anti-homophobia, poverty, and many more, because those are both separate and linked narratives. And there may be more rooms down the road, but this provides us with a good start to organize our content. So let's walk into one of those rooms, our bargaining room. This room will show our long tradition of tenacity and creativity in asserting our rights and are working so hard to improve our students' learning conditions and our teacher member working conditions. You'll be able to see the timeline of some of the really important events in that history down the side. And then there's teasers for the stories that will scroll down and you'll be able to read a lot more about the history of the different, um, different episodes that are listed there through the decades. If we go next door and have another look at a different room, this room is about building our profession. This year, Members are informing curriculum change, but it's never been thus. Since the Federation was founded, members have asserted their professional voice, rightfully so, have claimed that when it comes to education policy, teachers are the experts and our voices must be heard. Our museum, just like any museum, is going to have collections. It'll include collections of many kinds, cartoons, campaign materials, protest songs, publications, and lots more. So let's have a look at just one of those collections. The cartoon collection will have a chronological exhibit showing BCTF on the editorial pages of the province, but we also have lots of really choice cartoons created by members as well. We're so often in the news, sometimes in the middle of controversy, of course, but always on the right side of history. Lampooning is a really powerful tool, and cartoons are a great way to tell the stories of our history. 
you may remember this one from 2005. I love this one, Jenny. After our two-week illegal strike with our backs to the wall and the full force of the state coming down on us, we maintained our strength and fighting spirit. <laughs> Let's look at another collection. We have all of the issues of the BCTF magazines and newsletters archived and digitized for people to look through. It's a real treasure trove of stories. This one, imagine the, um, the publication was actually subtitled The Official Organ. <laughs> and you can see we even have a period where the BCTF publication was called The Educator of Canada, demonstrating that we've never really been a shy or retiring organization. In addition to our rooms and collections, we'll have wonderful sets of resources online. There'll be an excellent bibliography of works written about the BCTF, a wealth of other documents, including the minutes of all of the AGMs through the decades. It's amazing to go back and be able to read the actual minutes. I actually find that really thrilling, and I hope that there are some other people that do as well. <laughs> but it's very interesting. So there you have it. That's just a very quick peek at a museum project underway. Once it's live, we'll make sure that all the members are invited in and we'll really promote it far and wide. But we do want you to contact us. Please contribute your ideas and your stories. And starting tomorrow, please consider stepping up to tell a story. We'll be setting up a soapbox and we'll be videotaping any members who want to talk about BCTF history, to tell stories, or even to look forward to the next 100 years. If you are interested, please see Jack McDermott or Susan Kroll. We'd be very, very pleased to include your stories and contributions as well. So that was a really pretty fast little look at this museum project. It is a work in progress, and it'll soon be ready to be launched, so please watch for that but maybe really it'll always be a work in progress because I'm pretty sure that there isn't any way that the BCTF will suddenly stop making history. Thank you.